Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome to Siberia 2. It's been a long time since I played the first Siberia, but I really enjoyed it, and I think a lot of you guys did as well. If you're interested in seeing that playthrough, uh, I will put a link in the description. I may have an annotation here that you can click and check that out. Uh, but I am going to go through the Siberia recap here. I think it's a video, and I think that will be a really good way to get everybody up to speed if you have not seen it before. So, without further ado, the Siberia recap starts now. The financial law firm Marson and Lormont were just doing the legwork for a big homegrown multinational. They sent their best corporate attorney, Kate Walker, to Europe to negotiate the takeover of the Vorarlberg Automaton and Mechanical Toy Factory. Kate slinked into the village of Valadilen, deep in the French Alps. She reckoned on 48 hours to close the deal. But then, nobody had reckoned on there being an heir. Hans Vorarlberg, a mysterious character, had disappeared years earlier. Kate had to find him. Without his signature, the deal was off. She checked out the abandoned factory and met the latest generation of automaton. He called himself Oscar and claimed to be the engineer of the crazy locomotive in the station. So Kate decided to hop on, hoping the train and its wheelman could take her to their maker, Hans Vorlberg. Ignoring the warnings of her friends and the threats of her boss, she takes off on a bizarre journey, rolling from station to station, further and further towards the east. On the trail of Hans Vorlberg's past, Kate's route is littered with his crazy inventions and the recollections of people who had come across the little madcap guy. She finds out that he was a creative genius. Piece by piece, she put together the puzzle of Hans's life and discovered the reason for his flight northwards through the Russian interior towards the myth of the last surviving mammoths. West to east across Europe, traveling along the battle scars of the 20th century, Kate finally collars her man, Hans Vorlberg. Time, though, had caught up with him first. He is old and tired, yet his wildest dreams shine on. Apparently, Kate Walker has bid farewell to her old life and decided to follow Hans Vorlberg to the end of his personal rainbow, right to the legendary island of Siberia. It's actually quite a good summary. Uh, there's not really much that I would add. There's uh, a couple people along the way that we met that they didn't talk about, but seeing that we're now picking up directly from when we left off in the first one, um, I don't think we're going to run into those people anyways. So, let's get started. Have you heard anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna be coming back. Call her! Siberia is an island. An island lost in the ocean. People say Siberia doesn't exist, but people are so wrong. The isle is covered in the tallest grass. Strange grass that grows through the snow. Mammoths eat it all the time. They're always hungry. Hans, you must rest now. You have a very high fever. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. Mammoths, Siberia, all that. It's just a dream, a kid's dream. Promise me, Kate. She's not find her messages, sir. Try again, damn it, try again! Hello, Miss Walker? Just a moment, please. I... Give me that. Kate? Come on now, Pat, answer me. I understand your last mission was a hassle for you. But you know, the company has ways of showing its gratitude. Kate, it's time for you to come home now. Your place is here in New York. Your job is here. Your friends are here. Your life. Kate? Kate? Kate Walker! I promise, Hans Varlberg. We're going to Siberia. That's a pretty major promise to make this guy who's basically on his deathbed, but... We'll try to keep our word and see about these mammoths. Okay. 
Well, it's already bringing back memories. So we could head out that way. Hello? Kate Walker? This is Oscar calling. Your driver. Oscar? You're using a telephone? Mr. Foroberg has, in effect, jerry-rigged me something very approximative, <laughs> inspired by your own miniature device. Mr. Foroberg is such a repository of knowledge. I am calling to inform you that we have arrived at the station, Kate Walker. Great. Which station's that? The station is located in the town of Romansburg, Kate Walker. Okay. I'm gonna go snoop around. Do be careful, Romansburg. Kate Walker. Always am, Oscar. So, uh, in case you missed the intro, Oscar is the uh, automaton that we stumbled upon a while ago. Actually, I want to see if we can go back here, because this looks like it's towards the back of the train. I think so. Yeah, we had this. Hans's cylinder machine. Yeah. Something else he slapped together since we came on board. We had something similar in the previous experience. Hmm, Hans's mammoth doll. Oh, he's just, like, tinkering away back here. Hi. Hello there, Kate Walker. <laughs> I love how she calls me by my full name. You know what? I'm so happy to be here. To follow you in pursuit of your dreams. My dreams are now your dreams, Kate Walker. When are we leaving again? I want to leave as quickly as possible... But it's Oscar who decides. He's the master of the train. I don't mean to get personal, but don't you think that this journey is going to be a bit tough for a man your age? I am going to Siberia, Kate Walker. <laughs> End of discussion. You do understand. Pretty dedicated. Hans, where are we? Somewhere on the way to Siberia. Is it still far? Pretty much. <sighs> Nobody's ever seen this island. No explorers ever talked about it. And, well, it's not on any map, Hans. I know Siberia exists, Kate Walker. Do you think that the train can go much further? There's more and more snow, and the cold is biting. I designed and built it, Kate. You did remember to wind it. No, not yet. Then get it wound, and let's be off. So, how do we wind the train here? There's a train winder at the head of the platform. Ask Oscar, he'll show you. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. Okay, so we'll head to the front of the train then. It doesn't seem like there's going to be anything else going on back here. Now, if you've never played a Siberia game, um, there's going to be a lot of different uh, puzzles and things that we're going to need to figure out. Uh, they're not really too difficult. There are some that gave me trouble in the first one, but um, if they're they're challenging enough to be like make you think, but they're not so challenging where it's frustrating. It's a little chilly to be taking a shower. <laughs> Thanks all the same. Fair enough. I don't know how long you've been riding this train for. See if we can help the guy. Welcome to Romansburg, the last town before the vast wild glacial wastes of the tundra. Retired Colonel Emilyov Lupachev, guardian of the Imperial Marches and a general store manager at your service, miss. How may I? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the frontier town of Romansburg, oh, gateway to the tundra, the last news. town before the vast plains of the I frozen might as well waste. Be a snowman. Hmm, what a welcome. Okay, so I guess we could either go inside or we could go wind the train. Like we told them we would. But I'm gonna go ahead and guess. That we're gonna not have what we need to wind this thing. 
What's going on, Oscar? What a strange town. What do you make of it, Oscar? Oh, look at the, the big black kingdom in the stop. background. I simply don't like stations, Kate Walker. Nor the towns around them. That's a little bit of a generalization. The whole town is lugubrious. And I don't like these houses underneath the rails. To me, they spell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. <laughs> we have to be very careful. Uh-huh, still the same old scaredy cat. I cannot change my design, Kate Walker. He is. Oscar's quite conservative. Sometimes I say to myself I should just go back to New York. Do you miss it, Kate Walker? I don't know. I don't think you will ever return home, Kate Walker. It is too late now. Oscar, how come you're programmed for psychology all of a sudden? Hans isn't looking so great, don't you think? While his passion is strong, his wheel work is worn, Kate Walker. Yeah, I guess so. Sometimes I say to myself that it's all just a figment of my imagination. That Siberia is just a pie in the sky. You ask yourself the strangest questions, Kate Walker. I am particularly piqued that you question my reality for an instant. Even more so that you question that of Mr. Forelberg. I'm sorry, Oscar. That was dumb of me. Do you think that we're any nearer to our goal, Oscar? It is getting colder, that much is certain. Personally, I have no particular goal, Kate Walker. But the train and myself have not been designed to function forever. I would be grateful if you could talk about this matter with Mr. Forelberg, at him alone, if you please. The interesting thing is, um, these guys are automatons, so it's different, they're not robots. Um, automatons basically run on gears. There's not, like, any electricity going on, so, uh, for him to be as advanced as he is is pretty incredible. What do you think about this stuff about mammoths, Oscar? Kate Walker, my place is not to pass comment on human dreams and utopia. My place is here in my place. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder. At the end of our journey, we're going to find Siberia, aren't we, Oscar? Kate Walker, please. I... I have not been designed to ask such questions. I am an <laughs> automaton. I know, Oscar. I get the picture. We do kind of poke fun at him a few times, Oscar, too, which is good. is your train in a fit state to carry on with the journey? What are you suggesting, Kate Walker? I take the greatest care of it. Yes, I know, Oscar. But I was just thinking that with this rude climate... It is designed to resist just such conditions, Kate Walker. You simply have to wind it up. And you weren't thinking by any chance of taking charge of that yourself? My wheelwork is complex and fragile. It is poorly adjusted for the rigors of winter, Kate Walker. Now there's a surprise. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. I'm just kind of remembering now that this thing may actually, yeah, this could charge the train. Or not. Yeah, let's put that back out there, shall we? But there might be something we need to attach to it. I don't exactly remember. There we go. So... That should be okay if we do want to jump back into the train, but I do want to go inside as well. Okay, what do we have here? Uh-oh! Okay, good. Something's not right with this machine. Well, I mean, it's clearly it's trying to grab onto something, but let's go inside. Let's talk to these guys. Okay, what do we got here?
Oh. Don't mind if I do. Candy machines. Oh. Candy machines. I want to eat them. Oh. <laughs> candy machines. Um, uh, good day to you, sir. My name is Kate Walker. I... Oh, you're American, aren't you? An American in a hole like this. Don't see that every day. Well, I am Colonel Emilyov. I am, in my capacity, in charge of the administration of this jurisdiction. We just arrived by train. What an intriguing town. I'm impatient to visit it, Colonel. There's not really much to see. There's this and that, but really there's just white, infinite white, like a desert blurring into the sky. Nothing but white till you reach the furthermost tip of the frozen Russian hinterland. Welcome to the last bastion of civilization, ma'am. Well, that sounds promising. Very exciting. My friend who's with me came by here once. His name's Hans Varlberg. You don't know him, do you? I haven't been here for long. We're going to keep on going, pushing northeast. A great journey to an improbable place. I actually think I'm just keeping an old man company in pursuit of his final dream. Ah, people like you, Miss Walker, end up never going home. Tell me, Colonel. Are there a he lot of trains that well. pass through here? Not really. But then, I've not been here for long. There aren't any other travelers just passing through here? Passing through to where, Miss Walker? After this stop, there's nowhere left to go. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. <laughs> he is mega depressing, so that's cool. Got this ladder up here, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if there's going to be anything else in here. Let's uh, let's see what's down at the other end. Because I doubt we're going to stop here only to just take off right away. Oh, we've got a gate, but it's locked. Maybe this opens it. Or maybe it doesn't. Nothing I can do. It's locked. Hmm. I wonder if we should go talk to Hans again. See if it, see if he has any suggestions. Hans's cylinder machine. Something else he slapped together since we came on board. He's still tinkering. Hans? Yes, Kate? We're ready. The train has been wound. Okay, so it did work. Very good. Now we just need coal. I'm sorry. Coal? Yes, coal. We need coal. For later. Hmm. I'll go see what I can do. Hans, why are you so eager to find Siberia? I don't know, Kate. I've been looking for it for so long. <laughs> see you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. So now we can go ask the guy about purchasing some coal, maybe.
Oh, where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Colonel Emilyov. Ah, Miss Walker. Look, we need coal. Colonel, my train needs coal to continue my journey. Do you know where I can find some? There's a dispenser outside. Feel free to fill her oh, up, Oh, that's Walker, what that thing is. Courtesy of the state. Okay. And how do I operate this uh, machinery? Because we tried that earlier, but Just nothing was happening. Just pull the handle, and the coal drops down all by itself. Automatic, see? Totally automatic. <laughs> and what if it doesn't work? That coal machine doesn't seem to want to work. Ah. Uh, in that case, you're going to have to wait. Wait? How long? Oh, a week. Maybe two. Are you kidding? Maintenance doesn't come calling too often. Colonel, would you have the key to the gate? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> not anymore. Must have lost it earlier. When I was wasting my time on that dang music machine. Oh, I see. That's what he dropped there. Hey, it isn't my fault. You being here has upset my usual timetable and general routine. If you hadn't been here, I wouldn't have gone out. And then I wouldn't have lost the key. So, you haven't got the key then? Sorry to say. If I had it, I'd give it, it to you. A gate's made for opening, after all. And, of course, there's no double. Ah, got to wait for maintenance to make their call, Miss Walker. In a week or two. Looks like we're going to become pretty friendly. We're going to Siberia, an island far across the Russian continent. It's one long journey. We're going to need plenty of material. What do you think? Siberia Island? Never heard of it. I'm in no position to advise you, I'm afraid. Tell me, Colonel, why is there a gate blocking off the staircase leading to the lower part of the town? Low down is low down, and high up is high up. People who are low down got different points of view from those who are high up. So it's class segregation? Different kettle, different fish. If you get my meaning, Miss Walker. That's kind of interesting. How do I get down there, then? Oh, not the most advisable of moves. All the undesirables on the plateau wash up in our little town sometime. And I'd rather any lowlife stay down low. I don't think I understand, Colonel. I'm just a soldier, Miss Walker. Carrying out a soldier's orders. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. Okay, cool. Well, at least we can go back to where he was fiddling with the music box. And we should be able to find the key. I'm interested in that ladder that's up there, though. Uh, let's see here. It would have been right around here, but... Very strange. It's not there. Let's see if maybe Oscar found it. We could try the machine once more. Oh, look. Maybe it... Oh, it probably fell down there. Hi. My name is Kate Walker. Hi. My name is Malka. I'm Kate Walker. And you... Uh, you are Malka who? Malka. Just Malka. <laughs> Just Malka. Do you know who's got the key to the gate? If you give me a present, I'll tell you, Kate Walker. Oh, really? I'd love to, but you're down there and I'm up here. Well, you'll just have to find a present that comes from up there. Huh. Tell me right now what you want. It'll be much easier. I really want katalas, Kate Walker. They've got some in the shop. Katalas? What's that? Katalas. That's what they are. Candies. You don't know them? They're great. Okay, well, we can get you so your candies. So, that's what you want. Candies from the general store. <laughs> yep, that's all. Katalas. And in exchange, you'll tell me where I can find the key to the gate. You have my word, Kate Walker. Smart little girl. Let's I'm going. 
I'll go see what I can do. I'll wait for you down below, Kate Walker. Let's go ahead and grab that now. And then we can talk to her about that stuff when we return. Oh, maybe it would be one of these things. Oh, candy machines. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, nope. Oh. Okay, so let's talk to him then. He might point us right back to the candy machines. Colonel Emiliov. Ah, Miss Walker. Uh. I know where your key is, Colonel. Oh, it's not my key. That's state property, Miss Walker. I'm just an old soldier. Okay, but regardless, we know where the you key is. You must have dropped it. There's a kid down there who says it's hers now. Going to be no picnic getting it back then, huh? Oh, she looks sweet enough. And I'm sure she never says no to treats and presents. Oh, so everything's got its price then, Miss Walker. Colonel. You can't repair it, can you? I really need coal, you know? No. Sorry. All that mechanical gubbins, motors, engines... Not my thing. That's a maintenance job for a maintenance man. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. So where are these candies, then? Can I not get them from the machine? Because... That's not... Oh. That's not cool. Aha! We're gonna use that to open these up. Do I feel bad? Yes. Really bad? No. I'm assuming these are the ones. Not that one. Hmm. I'll need some change. I'll need some change. Oh, obviously. Let's use the let's use it on the lock. So we'll grab the coins. Nothing I can do. It's locked. Okay, let's use the coins now. I'll need some change. Do we have to actually place these? There we go. What? Okay, so it's not that one. And we have to figure out which denomination it is. The 20, the 50 with the hole regular 50 there's a whole bunch of them look we even have like canadian quarters it's got to be the canadian quarter okay maybe it's the ore maybe it's this thing probably the last one i mean maybe i could ask the guy what kind of currency it takes This is getting out of control. This one won't even spin. So maybe these are the candies, but we're going to have to test to see. Surprised that there's not some type of indicator. This thing's stuck. Oh, seriously? Nothing I can do. It's locked. This thing's stuck. Hmm.
This is working well. There! That only took forever. I'm gonna take my coin back. Okay, hopefully these are the right candies. She's probably not gonna like them. Even if she does, she's gonna tell me no so she can get more. I know how these little girls work. Don't take that out of context. Hi there. Oh, so you're still here then. Malka, I think I've found what you're looking for. Throw it down, Kate Walker. She better catch these. Catch! You've only got one chance. Oh, cool. Well, she played us, uh, she got what she wanted. She's honorable, at least. Now we've got the key. So let's go down here and see what type of people are below in this separatist town. There's somebody sitting down there. Kate Walker is in trouble. We've got to go look for her. Find someone. I don't know who. Someone spunky. Yes, sir. We've got Nick Canton, a detective. He's already worked on some tricky problems. He was good. Yeah. He might just be the ticket. Take care of it right now, John. Get him out there. Right, sir. Hell, what is going through that kid's head? Yeah. Hello, Canton? We've got a job for you, uh... How shall I put it? A special job. Uh-oh. What is this thing? Weird vehicle. It's like a hovercraft or something, but it's just I hope that's just storage there. Do you like your candies then? Not bad. Do you have any family, Melka? I'm big enough to take care of myself. <laughs> hey, don't get mad. It was just a question. And anyway, of course I've got family. Zirkos, he takes care of me. Because my mama, she's dead. Oh. Yeah, I understand. No, you don't. You must be really rich. And you must have thousands of friends in America. So, what are you doing here, Kate Walker? I don't know. I'm miles from home, and I don't really know where I'm going. It's crazy. Yes, Kate Walker, but there are loads of people who don't know where they're going. And they are all crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to Siberia. That suits you as a destination? She's probably from there. Hmm. If one day you return to America, you must take me with you, Kate. That'd be weird. Tell me, is Sirkos kind to you? Yes, very. He is my friend. Has he been living in the village for long? When my ma and me came here, Circus looked after us. That was a long time ago, you know. Do you know who could show me how this coal machine works? No, it's an old machine, Kate Walker, and it smells. <laughs> Maybe there's someone who knows how this machine works? Not Circus. He's too small to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> the Berghoff brothers, they must know. They know everything. But I don't like them. They are not nice. Do you know a place called Siberia? It's a land. They talk about it in kid stories. It's so far away it probably doesn't exist anyway. From what I've heard, 
There's fields of blue grass as far as the eye can see. And mammoths. That's not right. Grass is green. Or yellow in the fall. Blue grass is silly. Either way is fine with me, Malka. You really are a strange lady, Kate Walker. Why do you say there are bad guys here? The Borgoff brothers are liars and thieves. And they're nasty and they smell. Especially the little one that walks like a penguin. You shouldn't make fun of people, Malka. The big one isn't nasty, though. He's really stupid. A big dumb Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> Just the rips into these guys. Could maybe give me a hand. Why not? They're as dirty and smelly as the machine you want to mend. I'm gonna see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. Okay, cool. So we've met her. We're well on our way to getting the coal. Uh, we might have to talk to the two brothers, but once we do, we should be okay to uh, to start getting the train going again. So. Uh, look, this is kind of cool. One thing I can say is that the first Siberia really kind of hit me. Um, there's a lot of emotions involved. Really, really good story. And, uh, I'm looking forward to see if Siberia delivers the same. I hear that it does. And I also hear that Siberia 3 is coming out, uh, this year. So I'm looking forward to that as well. But I haven't really heard any major updates on it, so we shall see. Anyways, thank you guys very much, and, uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.